Welcome to Peaceful Prosperity with Oliver Manalise. I'm super honored to have the powerful Coach Colin, Colin Cummings here with me today to do a client spotlight interview. Colin, thank you for coming on. Man, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for doing this. I, uh, you know, I'm a big advocate of uh, podcasts and, and to see you doing it, I'm always super happy. I'm like, oh, he's here. He's doing it. It's great. <laughs> and you you're celebrating uh like a very fresh recent win can you can you share with us what you just oh, accomplished yeah. yeah yeah i just closed um a client a, a 10 session package um yeah yeah i went in there closed and closed with more more confidence than ever before i would say because you know um, in the past weeks, I mean, we're celebrating this fresh one, but I mean, just maybe what, two weeks ago, I closed another person. So, um, I was way more confident in this one, way more yeah. confident. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. And so for yeah. people who are listening, um, these are, these are huge accomplishments. So we're here celebrating that win with you, these wins with you, because I mean, a lot has had to happen. And a lot of work had to get done in order for you to get to this place. Um, so, man, I applaud you for for your wins, for your accomplishments. And I appreciate you you sharing that this is what you've been unlocking for yourself. But for the people who are listening, tell us a little bit about who you are, what you do, what you've been what you've been working on. So we have some context about uh, who Coach Colin is. Um, yeah, I'm Coach Colin. I, I uh who I am and what I do. Well, I'm a, I'm a high performance coach. Um, and my, my blocks, my, my magic bullet would be habit formation. Um, I focus on habit formation quite a bit because in my life, I mean, I won't go into the whole story, but you know, my life story and I've had habits build me up and I've had them break me down, you know? Um, so I know the power of habit formation and how much it can change somebody's life. So, what I like to concentrate on is building up people's habits, getting them to a place where they're executing on things that they never thought they'd be able to execute on consistently, um, tying those habits to their core values to make sure that they're walking in integrity, make sure that they're walking in aliveness and wholeness. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's the basic of it. I mean, uh, yeah. And, and I'm, and I'm loving it. And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. But yeah, I'm, I'm so happy about this, just closing this and everything that's going on right now. I just feel really good. <laughs> if you're if you're just listening and you can't and you're not watching the video, you'll see uh, <laughs> just how lit up Colin is right now. <laughs> it's not just the lighting either, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I I love the work that you are doing and the way that you are supporting people and helping people utilize these these daily lifestyle choices called habits to mm. uh to create more opportunity for themselves to to feel more confident in themselves um I, I love that and i think we we totally align on on those on so many areas but yeah that's a really big one um so so needed can you share with us you know from from the work that we've done together what would you say were some of your biggest wins like what what are some of your proudest moments what are the accomplishments that you that you look back on the accomplishments i would say just walking walking in my truth more going from being somebody who wants to coach to somebody that is coaching you know um for like i mean when i first started this I was, I didn't know if I could do it. It wasn't exactly clear. I knew that I had a passion for it. I knew that I had a natural ability for it, but you know me, I'm big on clarity and it just wasn't clear on how I can actually get there and be doing this as something that's, that's sustainable for my life. And I, I would say like now I'm very clear on it. You know, I know we have our ups and downs in our sessions and, and, uh, you know, I have doubt here and fear there, but I, I've been able to plow through it thanks to your help. And, uh, and I'm feeling really, really good about where it's going and, and where I'm at. And, and 
honestly, again, back to clarity, I've gotten so much clarity, so much clarity. Things were very unclear when we first started our work together, very unclear about what I could do, you know, what my abilities were, what was possible for me. And now things are extremely clear. Like today, they're extremely, extremely clear. So, so thank you, man. Man, it is my, it is my honor and it is my joy to, to see you blossom the way that you are. Um, and as, as you know, a big, an, you know, there's important pieces to this work. You know, one of the more fundamental pillars is unlocking your capacity, your capacity mm -hmm. to perform, unlock new energy levels, have more bandwidth. Uh, you know, an important component there is the structures of your habits and your daily disciplines and things like that. And when you increase those, those energy levels, you have greater access to yourself. It's to pour it into um, what? Like, what do you pour it into? Well, that's why clarity is one of the next main pillars, right? Because when you have clarity in terms of who am I, what am I creating, where, you know, what, how do I want to serve? Um, that type of clarity creates the confidence on our path. Were there any specific things that helped you get more clear that you can remember? Remember? Things that helped me get more clear, I would say... I would say just talking to you about how it all works. I mean, if I could even just go back a step, a main thing that I would like to think about or, or talk about is the selling, how I was able to, like, even right now, as I'm talking about closing somebody, I think, I think when we first started our work, that would feel like a more, uh, lack of a better word, an icky subject, being like talking about selling and, and closing and and how authentic or inauthentic that felt to me when we first started and how authentic it feels, how noble it feels now to just be like, yeah, I closed this person because it's going to help them. You know, like every time I talk to somebody at the end of one of our sessions, they talk about how much value it's added, how much the value has been in their discovery calls and the voice notes that I share with them, how much they're, how excited they are for things to change, how excited they are for the roadmap that I've laid out for them. So now when I talk about selling, I talk about it with like, it's a good thing. It's a very good thing. You know what I mean? It's just, it's different. It's, it's, it's much different now for me. Oh yeah. I love yeah. that. I think I, I remember some conversations that we had earlier on. It was just this, yeah, that icky feeling of like, oh, I'm trying to sell somebody and I'm trying to yeah. promote myself and I'm trying to, and then your energy now is like, wow, it's noble. Like I'm mm -hmm. helping people, their, their lives are being transformed. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm enrolling them into something that's going to impact them in the long run. Um, how, how, like to share a little bit about how that shift has kind of changed things now for you. Cause I feel like, um, for you, if you are listening as an entrepreneur, who's deeply connected with purpose and sharing, uh, your gift and wanting to use that to be able to help others. I think that can be a block of like, uh, oh, I'm selling something that's so close to my heart. I'm selling something that's I'm selling myself, you know, and um, a lot of people listening could be going through that as well. Yeah. 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 So wait, so the question is um, say the, say the question, how has it, how has that shift um, affected you? The shift from I'm selling something it's icky to now realizing, oh, I'm helping transform someone's life. And like, I can say like, I'm, I, I can proudly sell this and, and yeah. something noble that I'm doing. Like, how do you think that has affected you? It's affected me greatly. I mean, it's the way, yeah, the way I was looking at it before was really negative. Um, and it's just, it's helped, it's helped my life overall. I mean, now I get to do this. Now, now I get to do this and have it be something that's actually going to sustain my life. Like, like, you know, I close this, this sale today and I don't have to do Uber Eats, you know, cause I was like in this mind state of like, I would rather do Uber Eats for 12, 10 hours a day and help somebody for free. And it was like, there's, there's a nobility in that, that could be admirable, but at the same time, it's like, you should get like you should get paid for what you're doing but even more so it's this mindset of like i'm not taking i'm giving and before i felt like i was taking 
I really felt like I was taking. And now I see oh. that I'm giving, you know? Um, so yeah, it's just, it's changed my confidence level. It's, it's changed the way that I'm walking. It's changed the way that I'm talking to clients, the way that I'm walking in my life. Um, yeah, it's, it's changed everything really. I mean, and now it's changed my outlook on, in terms of like what I can do for people going forward, like how much I can do for people. Cause before it was like this, the selling was like such a roadblock for me that it was, it was hindering me from thinking about what else I can offer people. And the second that I got over that now it's just like, a, like, like we're talking, you were talking about like making one program. Now I have like multiple programs in mind because it's okay to be selling. It's good. It's a good thing that I'm doing this. It's uh yeah, it's hard to describe, but uh, yeah, I just, I feel great. Oh, you're doing, great, yeah, you're doing a great job. I love it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's more like um, serving. Yeah. 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 You're, you're, sir, you're serving people. Yeah. Yeah. And like today I met client's wife, I met his kids, you know, and being able to look at them and know that like, I'm going to enhance their father. Their father's going to be, enhanced. husband's going to be enhanced after I'm done working with them, you know? Oh man. It's like a, uh-huh. yeah, it's, it's a great feeling. What were some of the biggest aha moments, insights, lessons that you gained along the way? Big lessons were just in terms of working with you, um, seeing what, seeing what coaches do, like the things that you would do, the, the exercises that you would put us through were just, it was so eye opening to see like, this guy's just talking and he's just telling us to do certain things, but it's like unlocking so much in me. And like I said before, like this was not only like lessons for me, but it was like school. It was like a school. It was like almost like a curriculum of like what I could do for people. Like it just, it just, it unlocked so much. It was, it it has, and it is ongoingly unlocking so much. And I mean, like I, like I, with our last session, we only just started touching on like the real personal things. And that I think is a big thing in the last few days that has changed something in me in terms of me feeling like I'm not good enough because the selling was linked to me feeling like I wasn't good enough. You know, like I didn't want to sell somebody something because I didn't feel like I was good enough. I didn't feel like I was good enough to sell something. I didn't feel like I was good enough to to get paid for something. It was, there, there was a big block there. And even in just our last conversation about that, it's really, I don't have the picture of like, you know, baby calling yet, but I do have one in my wallet. And yeah, I've just been, I've just been coming to terms with like, I don't have to be afraid of that type of stuff anymore. I don't have to be, I'm not that person anymore. I'm not that little scared kid anymore. You know, that kid can't dictate what 36 year old Colin does, you know? You you brought up the the picture of young Colin, just yeah. just for the people you know if you're listening to this and you're like what what is Colin talking about with this picture uh, just just <laughs> sh- share you know what was the purpose of that action item um, for you that action item for me the the picture of young Colin well I guess I went through a lot of neglect and not being loved and nurtured as a kid. Um, there was a lot of abandonment issues as well. Like I told you with the big brother, you know, the big brother program, my big brother leaving, my dad disappearing, my mom never saying I love you, all those things. It made it made it so I felt like no matter what good comes in my life, it's going to be taken away because I had the best things when I was a kid. I had the best things in my life taken away at every turn. Um, so the picture of young Colin is is there as a reminder that 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 fear that keeps coming up in me that that's just young Colin trying to protect me he's trying to he's trying to step in and say like you know like beware like you have this wife she's amazing but she might leave at any time because the good things always leave remember you know you you, you're talking to this client but they're not going to pay you just remember that that's going to go away too like you're not going to get to work with them. Like it's only, everything's fleeting. Everything's fleeting. And yeah, that's, 
Yeah. Even thinking of it now. And so just externalizing that instead of just having that little kid inside me with that fear, the picture would represent the external and I could actually look at that kid and, and, and kind of let him know that it's going to be okay. You know? And like, I've been saying that I've been like, I've been like, when I'm like driving around or like that pops up, I've been saying that I'd be like, Hey man, I've been saying like, Hey, don't even li worry, little buddy. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Don't worry. Oh, we're good. We're good. <laughs> like, that is I, so like, beautiful. I've, I've actually been saying like, I'm going to protect you now. Don't worry about it. Like we're good. Oh, man. We're good. Oh, I got it. You know, that really hits me, man. Yeah. Cause, it does. cause that's what it is. You know? It's, uh, and I, you it's, know, it's, I think the, the, an important insight around that is the importance of creating distance between you and the thing that might be holding you back when yeah. it's so internalized, it's almost invisible. It feels like it's something that you, that, that it's you and it's you doing it. Um, but then just creating a new concept of, all right, it's young Colin. You know, and you, you, you can externalize it and look at a picture and the picture is looking back at you and it, and it holds this symbol and this representation of um, where the fears are coming from. Then you, you can see it and you can have a dialogue with it as opposed mm -hmm. to letting it run the, the operating system for you. So, no, I, I appreciate you going a little bit deeper into that. Yeah. What were some of the, I mean, I think we, you've, you've beautifully touched on some of the challenges, but what would you say were some of the greatest challenges that you have faced so far and how did you overcome them? Um, I would say the biggest challenges, <laughs> I would say when you were telling me about, you know, talking, talking to people. And, and those connections being right around me, those resources of people who, who want to help me are right around me. Um, internally, you know, I, and it goes back to that, that baby Colin, but internally I was like, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't know. It's not there. It's not there. Those people aren't there. It's not there. And I just, I had to get over that and, and just serve come from a place of serving when I do talk to people or when I, I do get into discovery call and everything like that. And, and it's been the exact opposite. You did know what you were talking about. It is coming from the places where you said it was going to come from <laughs> like, <laughs> coming from those exact places. <laughs> were you like that bastard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this guy, how does this guy know? But yeah, it's, it's coming from those exact places. And I mean, I mean, you go over it, you said it a hundred times to me. You're like, you were, you were exactly where I am right now, you know, and where I was like, you've been there before. So I guess, you know what, the biggest challenge would be just opening up to that. Cause a lot of the times we feel like we're so individual that nobody could possibly understand and nobody's been here before and it's just us and we're alone in that and me just opening up to the fact that it's like okay this guy has been here before and if i do listen like it will work these things will work these these insights these these techniques these exercises they will work and they have they've they've all been working and it's funny it's funny because it's like it all comes to a head just as we're like ending in in our in our work together. Now it's all like wow, the whole time he was just he was right on point the entire time, the entire time. And now it's like all of a sudden I can see everything. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. It's um no, I lo I love that that is you know, the cha the challenge and also the opportunity, right? To, to trust the process. Because I think something that we can all learn is, is when there is a process that's been established by someone who's walked uh, the path and also, you know, guided others, even for myself, like when I hire coaches, when I hire people to help guide me in certain things, I'm just submitting to the process. Like this person can see something I can't see. 
keep keep going do do what's necessary um to to honor the process and eventually the results start to come and i think that's you know you're you're proof of that and it's happening for you and it's so beautiful to see man and i will say when you when asked in regards of like um how i overcame that honestly it was you know i'm an open person um but also you were very relentless <laughs> in saying the things over and over again like you've been there you you were you you kept on pushing you kept on pushing for me to get it you kept on pushing for it and even when i was being a little difficult from times you would just you know you'd like work around it it'd be like oh okay he just threw a lamp it's okay i got this all right and you just like <laughs> you kept being very relentless and then especially in the group thing like i found that the hot seats really helped me overcome it because now it wasn't just you it was like other people too and i think that was a thing that really made me go okay like like the 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 group aspect made me kind of check myself and go okay like there's people i respect in this group and you know maybe i need to open up more so then i feel i'm already open you know so that that was a big thing that helped me overcome that definitely wow wow that's great that's great um what advice do you have for the business owner entrepreneur who's listening that might feel a little bit trapped or overworked or overwhelmed by their business wants to feel more energized be more on purpose do you know do work that's of higher meaning higher value what would you say to them um i was thinking of that at the beginning um of the call that honestly i've you know me i've been in this personal development thing you know focusing on you know building myself up and opening myself and learning for like 17 years now um i've read all the books i've listened to all the videos multiple times because you know i have that thing where i just listen to things over and over again i've listened to hundreds thousands of hours of just self-help stuff everybody you could think of and i was telling my client today actually i was like because he was talking about the importance of coaching and i was like you don't even know the half of it i'm like because working with my coach for the past five months I have learned more just doing this, made, made more headway and learned more in this five months than I have from all those years of reading all that stuff, reading and listening to all that stuff. Like maybe the reading and the listening primed me to be open to an experience like this, but this experience moved me ahead in life, in the inner work, in the outer work, more than all that stuff combined just in this short period. So I would say open yourself up to that, to the fact that, you know, it could change a lot of things for you. It, it will, it will, no matter what, no matter what the thing is that you're trying to work out, whether it is the inner or the outer, whether it's the business or the relationships, you know, getting, getting coaching can really, really, really change things for you, really elevate things for you. Um, yeah. And like you said, I'm proof of that. I'm moving forward with my coaching practice. And, and honestly, it's not even just towards the practice. I mean, you gave me the perfect element. Like everything fell into place. When I was talking about that job that I just got, because now I'm head of recruitment for a staffing agency, you know, um, which was something that was just never possible before we met. Um, but you also brought up the consulting thing. You're like, you should have that in a consultant basis, right? And just the fact that you said that, kind of opened me up to, again, I, I am good enough to be a consultant. I can do that. And now all of a sudden, it's like I was talking about having a, a B2B type of business. And because you gave me that little nugget of like, maybe consult. Now, all of a sudden, I have the thing that I can go to businesses for. Because now, now I'm doing um, culture consultant. I'm a culture consultant. That's what I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm going from business to business doing because that's something that I've always had a deep passion for. And I just didn't have a name for it. You gave me the name of consultant. And then this company wanted me to be head of recruitment and culture. And I was like, well, that's the thing. This is the all encompassing thing. And 
yeah, it's just, I only mentioned that to say, it's like, it's not just, you're not just helping with the inner work. You're not just helping with me building a coaching practice, but you also give those sage like insights that really just molded a big part of my life, like a, a huge part of my life. Like when I started, I said, I wanted to be like you and Janet, me and my wife. I wanted to be like that where we work together, you know, where we work together and we spend days together, you know, working on, on things like that. And now I actually have that. And it's, 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 I know it's because of me. Cause I know everybody will step in and say, no, you did. I know you'll step in and say, you did this. This is you, but like you, you, you did that for me. You really did. So, so yeah. Yeah. Open yourself up. That's what I would say to people. Open yourself up to the experience. Um, you already have the common knowledge that it's okay to spend a hundred thousand dollars on a degree that 50%, maybe even higher people don't even use once, once they're done their schooling, open yourself up to spending some money on coaching, you know, for like, you know, not, not even that, not even the same amount of money and, and see what it does for you. Like we always have this idea that it's fine to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on school. But then when somebody's like, Oh, I'm going to take a coaching course. It's like, Oh, that's a little risky. Sure. You want to do that? It's like, <laughs> it's, it's wild. It's a wild, uh, it's a wild, uh, notion that we have that that's risky. And then that's not, it's, I don't know. This was, this is honestly the best money I've spent. It was the best money I spent. And I'm, and I'm really happy I did. And I'm happy that you kept pushing me because, you know, we knew each other before this whole, this whole coaching experience. And, and yeah, you've been a, a guiding light, definite guiding light for me. So thank you so much for that, man. Love you, man. I love you too, man. So, this is so damn good. Like, <laughs> uh, I can't tell you how, you know, how nurturing that feels for me to hear and how proud I am to see you grow and move forward and create an impact with all the different things that you're doing with your wife, with your new career path, with your coaching practice, with your podcast, like there's, man, that's, it's, it's beautiful to see. Um, yeah. Share what, share with us what you are up to now, um, what you, what we can be excited about looking forward to from you. Um, well, the, the coach Colin habit chain system, that's the program that I'm, uh, that I'm offering right now. Um, that's the, the habit formation, the, the thing that gets us in line with our core values, habit formation, and, uh, giving people a sense of integrity and aliveness. That's the program, 10 week program that I have going on now. Um, besides that, the coach Colin podcast, uh, I love doing that. You can catch that on YouTube. Um, the, the YouTube channel is, you know, type in coach Colin or I am coach Colin and you'll find that. And uh, Instagram is just at coach at, at I am coach Colin. And if you go there, you'll find everything that I'm doing in my link tree. So yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and then what's on the rise is uh, right now I'm working on a leadership program, um, leadership and culture program. So we'll be seeing that as well. So, wow, man, look at you. <laughs> oh, Please check out Coach Colin on Instagram, on YouTube, his podcast. Look forward to, you know, the, the programs, the training program, the habit chain program, like so many amazing things about what you're creating. And I'm so freaking stoked for you. And man, I, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being a part of my life and for being in this journey with me and let, and allowing us to get uh, an inside look at what your process has been with this client spotlight. It's an yeah, honor, man. Thank you. Thank you. It's been an honor to uh, be a part of all this. I know I was rambling at times because there's like a three hour podcast we could do on the whole, the whole evolution. Right. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for having me. And thank you for, uh, thank you for being part of my life. And thank you for that hug all those years ago, the way we met, we just randomly hugged and it's been blessed ever since. Oh my God. See, that's all. Sometimes the most beautiful connections, you never know when, you never know 
who you just hug to me and when you say hello just to meet them for the first time and what that can turn into what kind of relationship that can turn into and it's like that openness right so wow i'm glad i'm grateful man thank you so much thank you